Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's solve this problem. So given the discrete probability distribution, then first we need to complete the probability distribution by finding the unknown. Since one property of this discrete probability distribution that the summation of all the probabilities is equal to 1. So to find the unknown, we just need to add all these probabilities and that's equal to 1. So we have 0 0.17 plus 0 0.34 plus this one is x, that's the unknown, plus 0 0.20, then plus 0 0.05, that's equal to 1. Then add all these given probabilities. So we have 0 0.17 plus 0 0.34 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.05 equal so that's 0 0.76 so we have x then plus 0 0.76 then equals to 1 then to solve for x so transpose this 0 0.76 so we have x then equals 1 minus 0 0.76 so therefore x is equal to so we have 1 then minus 0 0.76 that's 0 0.24 so the unknown probability is 0 0.24 then for this problem so what is the probability that the random variable x is greater than 4 since greater than 4 so therefore these are the probabilities so the probabilities that this random variable x is greater than 4 so that's 6 and 8 then add these probabilities so we have 0 0.20 plus 0 0.05 so therefore the probability that the random variable x is greater than 4 is 0 0.25 then for this given so what is the probability that the random variable x is less than 6 so since less than 6, so therefore, these are the probabilities. So the probability that the random variable x is less than 6. So we have 0 0.17 plus 0 0.34 plus 0 0.24. So therefore, the probabilities that the random variable x is less than 6 so we have 0 0.17 plus 0 0.34 plus 0 0.24 equals so 0 0.75. So we have 0 0.75. Then for this given, so the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to 2. So since less than or equal to 2, so therefore, these are the probabilities. So that's 0 0.17 plus 0 0.34. So the probabilities is equal to 0 0.51. Then for this given, so the probability that the random variable x is greater than or equal to 4. So again, greater than or equal to 4. So since 4 is included, so these are the probabilities. So that's 0 0.24 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.05. So the probabilities, so we have 0 0.24 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.05 that's 0 0.49 so this is the probabilities that the random variable x is greater than or equal to 4 then for this given so the random variable x is greater than 2 so these are the probabilities greater than 2 but 
less than or equal to 6. So since less than or equal to 6, so therefore, these are the probabilities. So we have 0 0.24 plus 0 0.20. So the probabilities is 0 0.24.